It's the morning. Look at these nice pictures on their website for the Holiday Inn where we stayed. Well, it's the morning. We're heading out. There's Dave. We're having some breakfast. Free breakfast, by the way. That was very nice from the hotel. We thought everything was fine until we looked outside and realized the weather has turned. And I mean turned. We are heading to the train station from the hotel. Not in a boat, but in a taxi. Luckily, a minivan type taxi. This was obviously a flash flood before the tropical storm hit. It was a bit scary. I was a little bit worried that we wouldn't make it all the way to the train station. By the way, we weren't even scheduled to go into this taxi. I had scheduled an Uber, but I was afraid the Uber wouldn't make it. So luckily the timing was right. Two women were waiting for this taxi, which showed it was a taller minivan. And I just simply asked, is there any way we could join them in the taxi? And they obliged taxi driver obliged and it was beautiful. Cancel the Uber and away we went. I told you when Mom and I came back. Yep, we made it. Thank goodness. The storm is calming down. This is basically the lull before the top of the storm comes in. But I'll tell you, I've never been in a storm like that ever in my lifetime. It was super loud and tons of lightning and thunder. Now I'm inside the New Orleans train station. I am soaked beyond belief. It is literally like I jumped into a lake with all my clothes on, shoes and socks. And of course they have the air conditioning running. But overall this was a very nice train station. Matter of fact, I like it so much, I think I'm gonna hang out here for a while. All right, this is inside the Magnolia room. Again, a room for sleeping car passengers. And from here on, all the way around back to Milwaukee, we're in a sleeping car. We were scheduled to leave at nine in the morning, but with the flash flooding, we were delayed two hours. And then we were delayed another two hours and another half an hour, but we finally got going. 1.30 in the afternoon, here we go. Now everything you see is just from the flash flooding from just the storm before the tropical storm even hit New Orleans. Oh, look at a river. This, this is not a river. This is just a thing. There's some more flooding. Jeez. Oh, not so bad. No, it's fine here. Now, I'll tell you something, with the 19 day vacation we took, this was the only day that it rained or was even cloudy like this. I wonder if this is like the mighty Mississippi. Oh, I don't know. There's little barges down there. Mm hmm. Well, we're leaving the area, but you can still see it's a bit flooded here, too. Mexican Railroad. Faro Mex. Yeah. Uh -oh. Giving you the Mexican finger. He did. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my 
my years riding the rails, I've never seen this baggage car like that. I mean, I've just never seen a size of baggage car like that. That's pretty sweet. Cool. And then we have stairs. They go up to here. Builder, and then I haven't taken this one too, which is directly south, New Orleans, west to, uh, as to say, the southern border, New Orleans, west to LA. So it's a first for me too. Yay! Of course, flash flooding, that was a first for me too. Yay! No! I mean, where we were. So here's a roomette, empty roomette. Say hi to your wife. Hi, Mary. Ow. Oh. Hi, Mary. Good <laughs> job on the medicine. Stop. Say hi to Sam. Hi, Sam. Um, don't stay on the computer too much. Just kidding. <laughs> so this is inside a typical bathroom. Very tiny. For breeze is always helpful. Kleenex box sitting right there. Toilet paper, extra roll. Very nice. What else we got? A little trash can. And the toilet, of course. And there's my feet. There's the room we have in this bathroom. Not much at all. All right, yeah, lock, unlock. That's important. Uh, yeah, that's good too, huh? And y'all keep it clean for the next passenger, all right? Toilet seat covers are helpful too. And a couple of plugs. I know. Surface on the fell. I can talk. Being on the flat surface I almost fell. That's what I was meant to say. So this is southern along the southern border. Well, I mean, yeah. Not very exciting. I've seen this stuff in Wisconsin. So here we are. In Wisconsin. Nope. We're Louisiana, Mississippi, that area. So it looks similar to Wisconsin. Yeah. Trees. With my little eye. Looks like a handicap room. This door swung open, I kid you not, okay? I swear, this door swung open, I'm gonna shut it, okay? This door swung open, I'm not open it.
Let's go tour a big bedroom. Not the roomette, but a bigger bedroom. Here you go. A lot more room. I, I don't know why I'm waving that weirdly. Whatever. Uh, its own bathroom with shower. Its own bathroom with shower in the bedroom. You got yourself a lovely chair. Shut this and lock it. Lovely chair. And you have a bottom bed from the bunk. And a top bed that pulls down just like in a roomette. Focusing in, we got a shower light and a night light. That's very nice. And then out here we have a couple of plugs and a sink. Washing your hands with. Some garbage right in there. All right, now to the right is some stairs going down to where they cook the kitchen. And I'm telling you guys, if you can get into the dining car, order the food, especially dinner. It's sort of expensive, but the steak is amazing. It truly is. Cook to order. Observation car. Heading downstairs to the lower part of the lounge car. This is where you can order snacks and drinks when the dining car is not even open. Hi. How are you? Good. I'm just walking around filming. Just showing the different things. Check out the price of the wine. A single glass, $6.50. A half a bottle, $16. All right, this is from the back of the train. Uh, well, if it was from the front of the train, we'd be going backwards. I'm just trying to keep track of where we are. Thank you very much. So there is a guy, Mike, who is a room down from us, who sounds just like my brother-in-law, Rick, from New Mexico. You see the ones in the tree? You see the ones in the tree that have color up in the tree? They have the pink. Exactly. Oh, ah, ah, okay. They got that. Is that a secret Oh, Mount Texas. Of course, Mount Texas. Oh, it's not.
He's from, where is he from? Stations, this is Beaumont. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You ever had anybody just one of these smoke stops gets off and bolts away and you never see him again? Oh, that's happened. Not so much on this train. Uh, Coast Starlight at uh, San Luis Obispo, Salinas, and Eugene with three stops. Heading in for the night. See you tomorrow.